Board Game Binge. Bite-sized, bingeable board game content from across the industry. In terms of the total ad spend, what I'm trying to get to is the ad spend. Uh, so the ad spend. If, I'm, okay. if I'm, say, yeah. going to raise a million dollars in a campaign, what is that ad spend going to cost? It's going to be around $50,000. $50,000. Uh, it's, okay. it's, again, if you have a community, it just, can be just around going on average. 30, yeah, 30, 30 to 50. Okay, so thirty fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Now, and this is important because people listening again, they might think, oh gosh, I'll just call up Green Inbox, bang, I hit a million dollars. Is there's, there's a cost, right? And so how do people manage that if they are um, obviously on Kickstarter because they don't have the funds, right? A lot of people go on Kickstarter because they don't have the funds to launch a game uh, in, in a large way. Um, so it's kind of like a chicken before the egg that, you know, maybe they'll have the funds when, when they hit their campaign target or if they, if they are blessed to, to hit a, a million dollars but they don't necessarily have that $50,000 up front in order to do yeah. that. So how do they, how do they deal with that? Yeah. Okay. That's a very, so a big part of our, or I would say several clients, uh, you know, we did the test and then they uh, told us, listen, we're broke. We don't have any, you know, we, maybe we have $5,000 sure. or, uh, you know, there is a use case of a uh, use case, a previous client that uh, they had only $600 and Part of our services, we have a relationship with a, a venture fund that can okay. uh, uh, bo borrow uh, money uh, for the ads. So it's like a bridge loan because it's a bridge until you get the money from, from Kickstarter. And uh, you, could, you can borrow up to $100,000 for the wow. ads. So a lot of our clients were like, listen, I only have uh, $5,000, $10,000, or even in one case, as I said before, $600. And then, uh, um, you know, we borrowed, again, gradually. We're not looking to take $100,000 in, in the beginning. Probably it'd be 10 or 20, and then uh, we'll see how this goes. And after that, we'll take another 20 and so on. And uh, the cost for the bridge loan is 5%. Which, you know, on one hand could be expensive. If you think about 5% uh, per month, you know, well, a mortgage or something like that. But uh, um, so I'm going back to the example of these uh, two guys uh, from England that only had $600 and they took the $100,000 loan and they raised 1.2 uh, million. Wow. So they had to pay back the $100,000 uh, they we took as a loan and $5,000 as an interest rate. So I think if you look at the bigger picture, uh, it's not that a lot. That seems tiny. Um, I, yeah. I, I can tell you firsthand right now, especially in the middle of COVID, it is almost impossible to get uh, funding. Um, anybody that's watched uh, Dragon's Den knows that uh, to get funding for something like a board game is probably uh, is pretty tough. So the fact that you have as a resource, a group you can tap into to help with that, and it sounds like it's like a bridge line of credit almost, right? Because you're not taking all the money up front. You're taking what you need, right? So you're going exactly. kind of as yeah. you need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then quite frankly, um, the way Kickstarter works is after your campaign closes, it's about a couple of weeks and then you get, you get paid out based on, on your pledges. So it's not like you don't have that money then to pay back. I guess the risk is always that if for some reason um, you're, you're pumping the money into the ads and you're not getting the payout, that, that, that's the risk, right? So you're pumping money, you know, thousands of dollars uh, into ads. And then if there's, if the payout's not there, um, uh, they don't cover uh, that I, Okay, I wanna comment. First of all, I think uh, there is a bigger risk than that. First of all, yeah. if we see that uh, things are not working, uh, I'm not sure I mentioned that uh, before, but uh, our relationship with the, with the, with the campaigner is very, uh, how should I say, very friendly. Yeah. Uh, we see it as a par partnership and there's no obligation to spend, let's say you, we took a loan and we took uh, $20,000 or $10,000, there's, there's no obligation to spend uh, any certain, you know, there's no, you can spend $1,000 if we don't, if you don't see the returns, you can always stop, there's no notice, you can, you know, you wake up the next day and you had a bad dream and you don't want to you don't want to do uh, ads with us anymore so uh, no problem send me an email or a text or give me a phone and uh, call me and just say hey i want to stop 
and that's it. There's no notice. We stop the ads on the spot. So the, the, the campaigner is always in control. So I would say that's the, 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 the pump the money into the ads and getting no return. I don't think that can happen. We, of course, it can happen, but then we can stop. You know, we have our way and thresholds to stop the ads if things are not uh, working. I think the biggest risk is, is something that can happen, uh, did happen in the past, that the campaign gets suspended oh. by Kickstarter, doing something bad. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's, it's not common, but it can happen. Board Game Binge. Bite-sized, bingeable board game content from across the industry.